in theory, there will be information about the presidential race that is counted during this recount, though not publicly released at the outset. Is there going to be a way for, uh, you know, curious people around the country and, of course, in the state of New Hampshire, where this is uh, primarily affecting the citizenry, to figure out what those final vote rallies on the presidential ticket looked like? Well, there will be. So all the pre all the ballots have been run through the machine for the third time now. And that includes the presidential race. So we know what the tally is from the presidential race. And we've also photocopied every ballot that has been uh, run through those machines. So we could go back through every photocopy and hand recount that. Now, it won't be an official recount because the official recount is only to include the U.S. Senate race, which was a complete blowout, the governor's race, which is a complete blowout, and these, sec and these uh, state representative races. And so we'll have the ability to go back and get the final tally. Now, it won't change in the official results for the state of New Hampshire because this is not part of the audit which the state passed. But, you know, if there is a discrepancy in the presidential election results, I wonder why it wasn't included. It's the closest race other than the state representative races in our town of Wyndham. The president, uh, President Trump lost this state by 59,000 votes. Governor Sununu won by over 250,000 votes. Mm -hmm. So why we're recounting the governor's race and the incumbent U.S. Senator Jean Shaheen's race, where she won by about 125,000 votes, I don't know. But I think there should be full transparency here. Every person in America deserves to have an accurate vote total of how many votes were cast for the presidential race and every other race down ballot. And our state is required to report that by May 27th.